What's up everyone and welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 Honda CRV. Here at Best Car Reviews, I strive to be the most accurate and relevant information under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no wasted time. If that's something that's intriguing to you and you enjoy the content as you watch, please like and subscribe so I can continue to grow the channel. Let's get started. The CRV, one of Honda's staple vehicles in their lineup for so long, and a seemingly a design that's changed so much, yet you can always tell it's a CRV mainly due to those vertical taillights, but heading into 2024, they're carrying on with that great new redesign that they had last year. Tons of great features for the money, and if you're loving the design, then stay tuned, because they're going to go through all the trims, key details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. All photos and information in today's video come direct from Honda. Let's dive in. Honda will be delivering you the 2024 CRV with six different trim options, three gas and three hybrid. LX, EX, Sport Hybrid, EXL, Sport L Hybrid, and the Sport Touring Hybrid. That LX will start you off sub $30,000 at $29,500, running you all the way out at the Sport Touring uh, for $39,500. So across these six trims, you have a price difference of about $10,000. So there's a lot of options here that could fit into what your ideal CRV would look like. Engine options. The gas will be a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder 190 horsepower, 179 pound-feet of torque. Yes, that is extremely slow. Um, good luck gassing anybody at this traffic light on your way to Walmart. There's no way that's happening. This is a, not a quick CRV. If you opt for the hybrid, you get a little more power from the two-liter four-cylinder plus two electric motors, giving you 204 horsepower, 247 pound-feet of torque. So that is noticeably more power, but still not that much more and definitely not that fast but that's okay you're not getting this to go to the drag strip transmission the gas lineup will come with a cvt and the hybrid will be an ecvt um, sport touring hybrid is the only one to come standard with all-wheel drive but you can option that in on the rest mpgs that gas engine will get you 28 city 34 highway with a front wheel drive setup 27 city 32 highway with all-wheel drive and that hybrid will get you 43 city 36 highway front wheel drive 40 city 34 highway all wheel drive all right let's look at the pictures released of this 2024 crv while we go through the main features carrying on with the brilliant redesign in 2024 this new look i think has made the crv a real complete standout in a very crowded and cookie cutter suv world i love the new look and i think the upper trims look phenomenal and especially for these price points they're even better in person I think the dark headlights flowing into the dark grill are a seriously attractive look. You can get your CRV in some pretty sweet colors as well, and most are shown in these pictures. You have meteorite gray metallic, lunar silver metallic, platinum white pearl, canyon river blue metallic, which I think is my favorite, radiant red, urban gray pearl, crystal black pearl, and still night pearl, which is kind of the lighter blue that you're seeing. And along with the looks, there's a lot of great features to dissect in the lineup. You get a McPherson strut front suspension the lx gets steel 17 inch wheels ex and sport hybrid get 18 inch sparkling silver wheels exl and sport l hybrid get 18 inch black wheels and the sport touring hybrid gets you 19 inch wheels and those are wrapped in all season tires which are 235 on the width and a 65 series sidewall a spare tire is standard on the gas models only top three trims all have a power lift gate and the sport touring hybrid gets it hands free which is definitely a nice touch if you're like me and you're trying to load all your groceries into your car with one handful. LED lights all around, which is great. Even the bottom trims get it. Believe it or not, you don't necessarily get LEDs still in 2024. I can attest my 2023 Challenger did not come with LEDs, um, but that's for another time. All trims can also get you active shutter grill, a hood damper, remote entry, and a roofline spoiler. All but the Alex have that spoiler as a color match. Hybrid models get you dual chrome tip exhaust outlets as well as gloss black roof rails. A cool package you can get is the HPD package that will get you 18 inch bronze alloy HPD wheels, a tailgate spoiler, HPD decal and emblems, fender flares, roof rails, and more. So a good way to add a little more touch to your CRV, make it look a little more rugged. I feel overall the hybrids are the most attractive on the exterior. I'm not sure if this is intentional from Honda and hopes to sell more hybrids, but it would certainly make me consider them over the gas models just because they are that much better looking. 
These CRVs sit 184.8 inches long, 66.5 inches tall, 73.5 inches wide, with up to 8.2 inches of ground clearance if you get the all-wheel drive models. These CRVs weigh between 3,400 and 3,900 pounds respectively, and you have a towing capacity of 1,500 pounds. The best bang for your buck in this lineup as a whole would be the Sport Hybrid in my opinion. If I'm choosing between just gassers, then I choose the EXL. If hybrids only, then back to the Sport Hybrid. For these price points, they get you the most as far as standard features for your money and elevated exterior standard features to make your CRV the most desirable for your hard earned money. All right, let's now look at the interior shots released by Honda of the CRV while I go through those features. I'd give this interior a grade of a B plus. I'm taking into consideration price points compared to design and creativity, not so much standard features. That's a first glance, glance grade on attractiveness. This is a two row five seater with 38 inches of headroom and 41 inches of legroom, so certainly room enough for your taller passengers. You get 39.3 cubic feet of storage with all the seats up and 76.5 with them folded down. All trims get you a seven inch driver's digital gauge cluster area. The LX, EX, and Sport Hybrid trims come with a 7-inch infotainment touchscreen, and the top three all come with a 9-inch setup. They're all compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and the top three trims have wireless capability with those. Bluetooth is standard on all trims. The gas models get three drive modes, including Economy, Normal, and Snow. If you purchase a hybrid, you will get a Sport mode on top of those. All but the LX get a power moonroof with tilt features. LX gets you automatic climate control and the rest get you dual zone automatic. Convenient features that will appear in all interiors will be the ambient lighting, push button start, LED cargo area lights, floor mats, sliding, sun visors, tilting and telescoping steering wheel, and cruise control. LX comes with a very basic four speaker audio system. EX and Sport Hybrid get you a six speaker system. EXL and Sport L upgrade again to an 8-speaker system, and finally the Sport Touring Hybrid gets you a premium Bose 12-speaker system with a subwoofer. So definitely perks of opting higher in the trim ladder when it comes to your sound. The top three trims also come with a wireless charging spot. Buying above the LX will give you a comfier ride with heated and adjustable front seats with lumbar. The top three will even get you leather, and the top two come with orange stitching, which looks really good contrasting the black. Numerous handy driver's assist, safety, and technology features standard from Honda. They set you up well. Overall, I'm happy with the interior. Standard features are pretty dang good for the price points. Obviously, the LX is nothing stellar, but you can quickly rack up the convenience features and creature comforts by just going up to the EX. Interview guys, a lot there to dissect. If you're in the market for a compact crossover SUV, maybe looking at the CRV, you're looking at a RAV4, you're looking at a Hyundai Tucson, you're looking at a uh, Nissan Rogue, you're looking at a Ford Escape, there's a lot of options out there. Like I said, this is an SUV world that we're living in. So many options taken into consideration. It's really going to boil down to price points, probably what you think is the most attractive, and maybe what's standard on the interior, which a lot of these are right kind of neck and neck with each other. That's how they make your decision more difficult. Um, but if, say, they're all the same, and this is boiling down to exterior, um, which looks the best. I'm definitely going with the CRV. I think it looks so sharp. I think the competitors look all right, but I think the CRV is kind of in a league of its own with what they've done with this redesign. If I'm going with interior design, I might look elsewhere to pick my favorite, but overall, this is really not that bad at all, and you do get a lot for your money. You know, you're just climbing over $30,000 to get that EX, and you're getting a lot more standard. So definitely compare, cross-reference, see what you want the most, but this CRV is no slouch, definitely a fantastic option heading into 2024. Hope this video laid things out in a clear way for you guys. Thanks for watching this best car review. Please subscribe if you're not already. If you have an idea for a future review, drop it in the comments and we'll see what I can do. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, I have that option now. Check those options out and join if you'd like, and I'll catch you in the next best car review.